Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my knowledge share session. Learn with me. Today we will be continuing on the same topic: uh, cloud platform integration, XML validator. In the in the last session we saw that we can validate the input XML, whatever coming as a payload. If it is XML, we can validate those uh, XML data before it further get processed in order to uh, avoid any unforeseen errors right what we did is we created one what we did is uh, suppose this is our xml data and we validate each element each element like id article priority type and days based on some validations we put some validations inside that okay meaning it should be what is the maximum length, what is the data type, what is the maximum value allowed, uh, if it is a enumerated type, what is the valid values, like that, right? Once we completed this XST definition, schema definition, we uploaded this schema file into the uh, iFlow in the XML validator and then we validated it. Right, as a simple life flow, we saw that right exactly last time. Last time I said that once in the way XML validator, once we included the XML validator, it will ask me to upload the schema file. Right, along with that, there was one checkbox we left open, which means prevent exception on failure. See, the label it's a very direct meaning. If you want to, if you don't want to do the exception process, meaning when you when you when you do the high flow, whenever there is an uh, error or exception, we handle it by exception sub process, right? If you don't want this exception sub process and you want to handle the exception in the main high flow itself, then what you can do is you can say that prevent exception on failure you can make it a checkbox just make it yes last time we said no prevent exception on failure we said no and let it go via the exception only and we handle the uh, error error details in the exception sub process now we uh, what i will do is i will create another iflow in that the same copy of the same iflow i will continue and i will make this prevent exceptions of process as yes so this is the second part of my xml validation uh, video okay now i will go to the other other uh, iflow and i will show you okay okay this is my uh, uh, iflow i created which i call it as this was a demo xv1 xml validation v and I, I name it as XML V1. Okay. Okay. Now I will explain you what I have done. Uh, I'll explain you what I have done. I just take a copy of this. Up to this, it is same. Only the changes in the XML validation validator palette in the validation i put checkbox right so i don't want any exception sub process as such as you see in this previous program i put some exception sub process now i don't require any exception sub process because this this exception sub process will be prevented by will be prevented by this checkbox that means even if you put exception sub process that exception sub process will not be executed okay so what i did is instead i created one router here instead i created one router here i set two paths one is here all okay path okay all okay path that means no error i made it as a default route so no condition and the another path 
the another path i created the condition this is a standard condition which whenever an exception occurs this property will have some value that means dollar header dot sap xml validation result this is the system variable system parameter that will hold some values that means there are some error values okay so dollar header dot sap underscore xml validation result not equal to space so then this part will come this part will be executed in the uh, then i want to display the error right so i created one content modifier in the content modifier i just created one expression called same thing dollar header dot sap xml validation results i am displaying it okay what we will do is now okay for the time being i remove this where it will i will be explaining it later okay i will save it instead of deploying it i will i will simulate it and show you okay so so simulation starting point and simulation ending point Let let me go to Postman also. I'll see it. I'll remove this. I'll save it. I will deploy it now. Okay. Once deployed, I will go to Postman and show you how it works. Then I will I will explain you why I used a Groovy script also. Right. Hope now you got the point. Till it get deployed, I will explain you back again. So, uh, in the XML validator, I am not using this. I am not using this uh, exception process. So I prevent it. Alternatively, I used one router. I, router I said two paths. One is a default path which is having a no error. Other one is another path which is having error. In that. i have a content modifier and in the content modifier i am displaying the error message as it is whatever the error message comes in i am going to display it as it is okay that we will see it in a postman then we will come back again and uh, then i will add some groovy script to to enhance that error message so that user can read it okay we will uh, once it deployed we will go to postman and see that Okay, now I am inside the Postman. Uh, I will execute the XML now. Now in the XML, I simulate the error. I made a ID greater than six, and in the priority, I put H here instead of one two three. And uh, the enumerated values it should be infra, but I put infrastructure. Okay. So let us execute this now. The output should give me the error on the three items. Okay, I will execute it now. Okay, now it shows me all these errors. You see, the XML input as the following item does not seem does not meet the specifications. Validation failed for uh, XST errors in array, or J blah 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 everything. Right? This is the exact error error message. It is coming out. Uh, probably yes. Yeah, this is slightly meaningful. It is slightly meaningful, but. Uh, If you if we want to send this information to a, a sender of the XML, we should specify them the exact error message, right? So let us use some Groovy script to remove all these unwanted lines and put only the three items in the output. So for that, I am going to write another uh, Groovy script and and let us execute again. Okay. So I will go to. We'll go to iFlow and uh, write a Groovy script, deploy it, and we will re-execute this. Okay. Okay. 
okay i am back to the uh, this uh, flow so this is the path we are going to come in uh, xml validates if there is an error so it come to this path in the content modifier we modified the things right so here i am going to write another uh, groovy script here the groovy script i will create a groovy script so by default it gives me some things which i don't want now i will remove all these things i will remove all these things let us start with this and this also i don't want i am going to write a new body here so i will remove all these things i already wrote one script i will just copy paste and explain you what what i have done this is my script so i am going to use some patterns and matches so i want to import these classes so import these classes okay here i will copy paste my thing so this is what i have done it i will copy paste it So I have no no errors here. It shows no warnings and no errors. Okay, I will explain just simply. This you know definition. Uh, we define the body as a string. If the body is not null, then I create one string builder. Then I create an object called pattern. Then I create called an object called matcher. So matcher find this pattern matcher group with org. Sorry, this pattern compile will using the regex. Using the regex, it a pattern will be stored. Right, it will find out all the error messages which start with org. Right, this is what we are seeing. Right, all message with org. So it will pick up all the message with org and uh, store it. Store it in the matcher dot find. So the matcher dot find become a loop. As for any line item, that many loops it will be there, and it will append to a string builder org errors, right? After that, just for uh, log purpose, I put as a property also org errors, and also modify my message back to the new org errors as a set body. That's all. This is what the Groovy script is doing. So let us apply this. and close it to the plenty so no errors and i'll close it okay now the groovy script is ready i will save it Sorry for the background noise. There are some work is going behind my house. So I will deploy it. Then once it deployed, I will go back to Postman and I will show you how the message has changed now. I will deploy it. Okay, we will see to Postman and see that once it is deployed, I will go to Postman and see it. Okay, the deployment is over. Now I am going to re-execute the same iFlow with the same set of uh, error simulation and do that. See, so that previously the error message was like this. 
Now after the groovy script, I'm expecting only these three lines should come. Okay. Now let us see how it works. So I'm executing the same script and let's end it. See, the whole things are gone. Now the groovy script is removing all those items and it display only these three errors. So these three things we can send it to the sender via a mail using a mail adapter. Okay. That's it. So hope you understand the XML validation process as a whole. One with one with one with the prevent exception on failure uh, by checking it that means you are not going to go by a exception process and you are going to handle the exception on your own in this way the other other part is having this non-check and and you are doing all your handling error handling in the exception of the process okay hope now you understand the process of XML validation which is very important for us in the whole integration process especially on a seamless integration where no manual uh, intervention is there like automatic uh, processes so it is very important to validate the XML before it get processed otherwise uh, there will be unforeseen errors and data inconsistencies um, then Tracing back the errors and resolving it will be a very headache for us, right? So XML validator plays a very important role in our integration process. And uh, I gave you a, a small example on XST. Using that XST, you can check all other all types of validations you want to do it on the XML. Okay, try yourself and. Please update your comments and questions in this video so that I will be very happy to reply back. Okay. Thank you for watching and thank you so much.